Okay, good afternoon, uh, year 10, another week. Now, we've only got two weeks left um, before half term. Just giving you a bit of a heads up what's coming up. We've got one more topic to learn, circle theorems, if you can see it on behind you. Um, that will take us most of the week, to be honest, most of the week. Circle. And then next week, and possibly some homeworks this week, uh, will be revision. Okay, because after half term, there's going to be a test, well, two tests, one non calc and calculate. I'll show you a bit more information about how you can revise. Um, we'll be on everything this year. There are some revision papers uh, similar to the one we had in January, or more practice. I'll show you those in uh, future lesson. That's the plan. Be in good shape. You good, well prepared for that. So, so that's great. Right, I'm going to disappear now and talk you through the lesson, uh, which is on circle theorems. So, I'll speak to you again. Right. Okay. So today we're looking at uh, circle theorems. So you might put aside to circle theorems. P one just means part one, and the date today is the twelfth May. Now, the best way to look at these is to actually look at a few examples. Now, there's eight circle theorems in total, and you need to learn them and be able to recognize them. So the best thing to do is get a big, well, a whole page of your paper and separate it into eight um, squares or eight rectangles, a whole page in your book or a whole A4 piece of paper. That's the sort of size you want to be producing this. And if anything, on a piece of paper is useful because you can stick this on your wall or somewhere where you're going to remember it. Okay, now I'm going to go through each one slowly. So pause the video at each one. Once you've drawn the grid, pause the video and I'll go through each one with you. Right, this first one, so it's a little bit blurry, but hopefully you can. Um, so it says find the value of x. And what we're going to do is actually work these out and then I'll tell you what it is. So this one here is um, x is the same as 22, so it's equal to 22. And the reason for that is when you've got an angle here, uh, so this angle created here, that's a little bit messy. So that angle created there is the same as the angle created there. So any angle, even if I draw an angle there, all of those will be the same angle. Okay, that's just a circle theorem. And so the reason for that, we call that circle theorem angles in the same segment are equal. Okay. Now an exam question might be find the value of x and give the reason. And that's exactly how you'd answer the question. You'd say x is 22 and you'd give the reason which is the same segment are equal. Okay, that's circle theorem number one. Okay. Right, circle theorem number two, moving over to the next one. Again, do copy. Now, this is what we call a cyclic quadrilateral. We've got a quadrilateral, and all four points, crucially, are uh, touching the circumference of the circle. Now, for a cyclic quadrilateral, we'll do the reason, reason first. Opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 okay so both angles there they're going to add up to 180 that's just the rule of circles um, i might be able to show you some of these uh, next lesson a bit dynamically so x is simply going to be 180 minus 69 is equal Degrees, okay, 111. And the reason opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, 80. Okay, third one, number three. Now we've got a circle here. This here is called a tangent. A tangent is a line that just touches the circle at one point. And this here is the radius. Must be the radius for this to work. And if it is the radius, Tangent to a radius is always 90 
degree. So the reason here, tangent radius is always, okay? So if you've got a tangent and then the same around the radius, it will be 90 degrees, okay? Right, moving on, number four. Okay, number four, this we've got two radiuses, is two radii. X is that up there, so that's 40 degrees. Okay, find X and the reason. Now the reason here, this isn't due to the radiuses, this is a an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle due to Okay, the two radiuses, because they're the same length, it means it's an angle. Which means this angle here has got to be the same 40. And then x, therefore, must be 180 minus 40 minus another 40. 100 degrees. Okay. All right, circle theorem number four. All right, four more to go. Okay, this one, we've got two tangents here. Two tangents. There isn't really a reason for this one, but we know AC is 12, A to C is 12, find AB. Well, AB is the same distance. So again, the reason I'm gonna put here is two tangents from the same point. This is the point here, from the same point. Equal. circle okay so they have the e same distance those two are the same distance you will also find if i draw this one here by the same definition you formed an isosceles triangle so that angle there or that alpha that is going to be the same as that okay so that is circle theorem number five right circle theorem number six which is a famous one this is the center of the circle this is the circumference that's a 32 degrees find x well x is double 64 the reason for that is um, angles at center are double those at circumference okay another rule Next year, um, we'll be looking at actually proving why this works. Okay, but for now, you just need to be able to. So we are going to look at the actual proofs behind it later on. But now, you just need to know angle at the center, double angle, at the center, and vice versa. If it gave you the angle in the middle, half. Okay, two more to go, guys. Question, uh, circle theorem number seven. This is a diameter, it has to be a diameter. So if, so and it's working out X. Now this angle up here is always 90. Now it's a little bit similar to the previous one because that's sort of 180, isn't it? So it's angles at the, uh, angles at the circumference are half angles at the center. I'm gonna do the reason first for this one. So the reason angles in a semicircle, angle in, angle in a semicircle, 90 degrees okay that's all you need to put angle in semicircle is 90 degrees which means x is equal to because that whole set how triangle must 180 minus 90 minus 2 so in this case x is 50 degrees okay right and the final one today the final one eight this is uh blurry that's six it says find x now this is a tangent again these are often the hardest ones to spot but this is a tangent and if you have a tangent and then an angle there so it's got to look like that those two angles are equal got a tangent there this has got to touch the circumference but again we'll be proving these later on but in this case x is 68 and there's a special name for this type of circle the reason is Alternate segment. 
all you need to state you need to state x equals 68 due to the alternate segment theorem that's how you'd answer the question if it said given okay right there's the eight examples so spend some time please copying that up onto an a4 sheet uh, and then you want to sort of maybe make a copy if you can and have one by your bed so you can always look at these and recognize them use in exams right what i'm going to do now we're going to look at an example so eg let's see how this is sort of practice okay so the diagram shows a circle with circumference oh so we know that's in the center um a b does it lie on the circumference lengths a b e d are equal okay we know those are the same lengths b c and b d are equal don't look at it, but let's just put those lines in to show that they're equal. Work out the angle of CBD. Remember, it's the middle, the middle letter we're looking for. C B D. So that is the angle we're looking for. Okay. Right. Now this is often these are sort of trickier to find. Now the best way to do these questions is to just start filling in angles you know straight away. So I'm going to go straight in, and I know this angle is 26 because that's an isosceles. And then I'm going to—I'm just going to write in my notes A B D. We often put a hat for angle equals 26, and the reason is isosceles triangle. You don't need to put the reasons unless the question states it. That means this angle. You just keep working your way around. What angles can you get? That must be so B. D must be 180 minus 26, which is uh, 100, 128. 128. That's it. deserting me. 128. Right, okay, so I know that's one, two, I'm still working my way around here. Now, I know that's also X, don't I? But I also know the opposite angles. If I go back up to my, it's always going to be using one of these. And I know circle theorem number two, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So I know that this one down here at the bottom, B, C, D, B, C, D, must be 120. 180, some both done. 180 minus 100 is 52 degrees. I know that's got to be. This. Okay, once I've got that, I can now get x because I know they're the same. So I know 180 minus 52 divided by 2 because there's two of them there must equal x, which must be 128 divided by 2, 64 degrees. This x must be okay um right that's a sort of example quite a tough example okay quite a tough example this is to be honest quite a tough topic but once you get used to it uh, you'll be absolutely fine with it now what i want you to do is copy down that example now i've set you some hegarty work now you only need to draw the, the circle when the questions get a bit harder okay, so when can you see that question there i've had to work out some information there and it's a bit harder for me to deal with. So you don't need to, you only need to sketch the ones that you need a little bit of extra. But I have set you four tasks, but they are quite quick. So, and each one is focusing on a different specific circle theorem. So the first one, 594, is circle theorem number six. Circle theorem number six. 495 is circle theorem number seven. 496 is circle fit number one, giving you a bit of a hit. And 597 is circle fit number two. So you shouldn't really be using anything other than those circle in each of those activities. And there is four tasks, but they're not super long. So you should finish comfortably. But homework is to complete these tasks okay 
complete these tasks. Got another four to do tomorrow. Four more to do. There are eight in total. So we've got those four. That's your, that's your work for today, guys. Um, if you've got any issues, do email me and I'll be able to help you. Uh, obviously, the Hegarty videos are pretty good on you. just need a bit, of, a bit more help. You can see what. But I'll speak to you again uh, tomorrow, guys. All right. Uh, well done.